So, we've made this sort of technology before, or at the very least I have. We need a wireless redstone receiver and a wireless redstone transmitter. Now, we only need one transmitter, but we need, uh, I believe, uh, 11 receivers. Uh, so, we need bone, redstone dust, and iron. So, let's go do that. 4, 8, 12. That should be enough. And now, we need to make ourselves a transmitter. So, let's grab that. The transmitter... Huh. Why is this infinitely harder than the receiver? Okay, so we need crystallized amber and redstone repeaters. Redstone repeaters we can do. We, 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 can, we can do redstone repeaters. We just need to make sticks, which, you know, we can do like that. Uh, so if we just bring up wireless... Yeah, we bring up the wireless transmitter. Make ourselves the repeaters. We need three more of those. And... Okay, so now all we're missing from the wireless transmitter is the crystallized amber. Now, I've never encountered this item before, so I don't actually know how you, uh, you know, make it. Uh, but according to this, you have got to be fucking kidding me. Okay, the only way to make crystallized amber is to put gold, a block of redstone, and a fire charge in a solidification chamber with liquid magma, which comes from magma, and I don't know how you get magma. Do you smelt down magma blocks? I think you might have to smelt down magma blocks. Okay, that we can do? Okay. And now we have everything we need for the solidification chamber. Uh, except it's not going to give it to us, because why would life be that easy? And now we get our solidification chamber. Okay, so with this, again, it doesn't look like we need power, but it is a machine, so I am still going to put it down in the basement. We can use this to solidify. Uh, oh, it does require power. It just doesn't say it. I'm glad it brought it down here. But we can use this to solidify the amber f f f fucking thing. Okay, so for the transmitter, we needed uh, crystallized amber, which is magma, redstone, and a fire charge with magma on the side. Or, no, sorry, the magma's here for the honey, which we don't have because fuck bees. So we need gold, uh, and a block of redstone, and a fire charge. So let's go get those things, shall we? Okay, so there's the gold. There's the redstone block. Now all we need is the fire charge. I have no idea if we have one of these, and I have no idea where to get one if we don't, other than looting chests. So this could make or break our entire plan for the day. Drum roll, please, before we enter the computer. We don't fucking have one. Okay, let's pray to God that it's easy to make. Actually, it is kind of easy. All we need is gunpowder and coal. We have a lot of gunpowder, and we have no coal, but we can get coal. Let's go get coal. Okay, and with that, we can make ourselves three fire charges. So, let's now hop back down into the machine room and make ourselves some crystallized amber. Again, my life just feels like fetch quests. So let's slam dunk this in the basket. And of course we do still need our liquid magma. So the next step is to take this magma block and let's go put it inside of our smeltery because uh, why not? There we go, that gives us magma cream, which doesn't really make sense, but okay. Um. Now, the instructions said to pour it into the bucket, so I'm just going to assume that I can get a bucket of magma cream, and that'll turn into just a bucket of magma. No. What's this used for? A magma cake! Great, that's exactly what I wanted. Uh, not? What the fuck? Oh, so it does accept magma cream. But how the fuck do you just get regular magma? Yeah, but how do you get magma? It doesn't se- Oh, whatever, let's just use the magma cream. We only need one anyway. In you go. 
And that gave us two crystallized amber. Absolutely lovely. Now, I've got to go put this ingot uh, cast back onto the smeltery because I forgot. So let's just go and do that real quick. Uh, boop. And now that we have the crystallized amber, we can actually make the transmitter. So let's just boop and boop and gimme. There we go. Right then, now that we have the wireless redstone transmitters, we have the wireless redstone receivers, and we have... Uh, that's it, because we don't have the third thing yet, it is time to make the third thing. Again, I know what I'm doing, you have no reason to doubt me. But, in order to use this uh, transmitter properly, we're gonna need to get our hands on some GPS data cards. And we're not just gonna need the one, we're, we're gonna need... Well, 11 of them. Thankfully, they're kinda cheap. But, uh, still tiring nonetheless. Okay, so as you just saw from me fast-forwarding through all of that, I now have all of the GPS data cards I need. So, for the time being, let's just start setting all of this up. And we're not going to do anything fancy with the transmitter at the moment. We're just going to put it down here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go around to each individual one of these casings and we're going to install one of the wireless redstone receivers. And when we do, we're going to take the data card, we're going to link it up, and we're going to bring it back to that transmitter. So, again... Pretty mind-numbing stuff, so what I'll do is I'll just fast-forward through this bit as well. So, uh, yeah. Enjoy! So, as you may have seen from that fast-forwarded footage, we have placed our um, shield projectors and our wireless redstone receivers in each and every one of the emitters. However, we have come across the unusual issue of we have two extra GPS data cards 
uh, that we can't put in here because it's not big enough, which means we need to make another wireless transmitter. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take these that have been marked accidentally. I'm going to put them in a chest so that we don't get them confused. I'm going to break this and then I'm going to I'm going to EMC the transmitter so we have two of them. And then I'll set it up so that they can be set off with the same lever. So um, enjoy some more fast forwarded footage, guys. Or not, since the transmitter doesn't have an EMC value, but the receiver does. I mean, I, I still have an extra um, crystallized amber. I guess I'm just going to have to craft it. Okay, and now, from the looks of it, I need some more stone, because we've run out of basic fucking stone. Okay, let's go do that. Okay, and with that, we can now make ourselves the wireless transmitter, or at least we could if our fucking computer wasn't full. So let's uh, click that. There we go. Now we've got our two transmitters. Let's go set them up. Right then, so transmitter one can go there, transmitter two can go there. All we need to do, set up some redstone here, which we can do later. But for now, all we really need is a lever or even just a redstone torch, to be honest. Um, but before that, I think we should move on to the next part of this, which is setting up the actual uh, emitters. Because... These things don't just emit with nothing to guide them. I showed you earlier the shield projectors require these guideline frames. So what we're going to do, we're going to make some of these guideline frames, and then I'm going to show you what I did uh, between episodes to prepare for this. So uh, let me just go make some of these real quick. There we go. We've only got eight, but that's fine because we only need eight because da 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 da. Just like everything important in this uh, show. It has an EMC value. So what we're going to do, let's just drop this bit here. You know what, let's drop... What am I doing still carrying these? Why didn't I put these in the fucking transmitters? What am I doing? Let's go put these in the transmitters. Let's go EMC the frames, and then I'll show you what I was doing. Okay, so... To pull the wool from your eyes for a second, we're going to need this schematic cannon, which means we're going to have to tidy up this area. Make it nice and safe. So, uh... Maestro, play the Doom me, 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 me. Fuck, I fucked up my one-liner. So, Maestro, play the Doom music. drop these up here there we go and the last thing we need is some chests and we've got them right here okay and with those in there that's definitely not enough but it is a good start what we've got to do now we've got to find ourselves the fucking schematic table and we've got to print out the schematic that I made earlier that should make placing down these guideline blocks a hell of a lot easier. But while I do that, just walk and talk with me, I'll explain how this works. So, the way these generators work is, instead of giving you a preset, like, selection of shapes, or giving you uh, the tools to sort of uh, expand that shape, or make a custom shape, or tell it how big of a radius you want the shield to be, instead, it works on guideline blocks, those things we just put in the chest. What guideline blocks do is they essentially allow you to build the shape of the shield. But because of that, since we want a shield big enough to cover this entire area, instead of just selecting, I don't know, give me a big fucking sphere, instead you have to build the big fucking sphere. And just like I did with the rest of this base, I decided to do that in an environment where I wouldn't have to spend 90 years on the planning stage. So I did still do it all by hand. It's just, you know, I had a, I, I did it in a different world, and I'm now using the schematic cannon to bring it over. You know, save us all time. So let's yoink this, and then let's get ourselves the awning.nbt. There we go. Now I have awning.nbt. I've got to figure out where I chose to save this from. Uh, because I don't want to accidentally misalign this. So, prepare for the lag spike when I right-click. And there was no lag spike, but it also didn't place anything down, so part of me thinks that maybe there's something wrong with this thing. Oh! 
That one worked. And there goes the sound. Let's see how long it takes to unfreeze. Let's just try our best to align this, shall we? And I think we found exactly what we can use as our guideline. Okay, for the most part, it is now lined up. We've just got to bring it this way a little bit, it seems. So let's just drag it over here. And then I believe it's one this way. And then let's bring it up. Uh, I believe down brings it up. Nope, down brings it down. Ignore me. And then if we bring it this way one more. There we go. It should be lined up perfectly there. I'm not sure why this bit exists on its own. I think I may have fucked something up. But I'll leave it there for now. And yep, checking up with the top of the building. Those are aligned perfectly too. Which means I can do this. And, you know, restore my frame rate because Jesus fucking Christ, that is a drag. We Next up, all we're gonna do, chuck this thing up here. Uh, skip missing blocks. No, don't skip missing blocks, Jesus Christ, that'd be horrible. Uh, and then hit play. And the target's too far away. Okay, I guess we're moving the cannon first. Okay, so after having put the cannon all the way up there, deleting the nerd pole, all that's left now is to take these chests and bring them up too. But first, I've got to sleep because God hates me. You would have thought I'd have learned my lesson by now. Okay, let's box up this one and box up this one. And let's get rid of all of this crap. Let's filling up our inventory. And then let's take this one. And let's take this one. And since the cardboard box plan didn't work, let's just drop down the chest manually. There we go. So now that we've got this stuff up here, hopefully being as high up as it is, it should just run now. Target too far away. How? Okay. Plan B. Let's go with plan B. I don't know why I bother even making a fucking plan A anymore. All right, welcome to my plan B. We don't have Litmatica installed for no reason after all. All it means is that I'm gonna have to go around and manually place every single one of these blocks. You know what, fuck it, we're having a third time lapse today. Uh, hold on to your tits, otherwise they're about to fly off. With those few last blocks placed, today's time lapse comes to a close. We're not finished, obviously not by a long shot, but I've spent the past four and a half, nearly five hours uh, doing this much, uh, so I'm fucking tired and I don't want to finish the rest of it today. Um, I'm also out of time, but you know, it's mainly that I just don't want to spend another five hours to get to the next part right now. So I'm going to end today's video right here like i said we're not done hopefully in the next episode when ruby's back off of his holiday we will be able to finish it together but keep an eye out for the next episode of anadonia where we should hopefully get the actual top part of the force field done we do still need to do the drop downs and we do still need to connect it to the actual like uh, force field projectors but for now i'm happy with this so outro time now if you did enjoy today's episode of anadonia make sure to hit a like make sure to hit a comment and make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to show me that you actually care about me and my channel and the series. Please, I'm begging you, I need the validation. And uh, yeah, in case I don't see you, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night. See you in the next one, guys. Peace.